Hello, good day. This meeting is being recorded. I am Brother David, aka the Gov, SPLSPro.com, and our walkthrough guide video has just landed. It is here on Indiglo for all to see this day, the 12th of January 2021, 1201 2021. Would have liked to have done it yesterday. Um, the 11th, 01, 2021, but uh, time did not allow that. So I'm going to go to a screen share after saying ciao, how, peace and love. We shall proceed with evidence of life, essence, incarnation, proclamation, instrumentation, exclusive, homegrown, grassroots. And uh, I'd like to begin by moving the camera off I and on to such things as, get this like that, put me up there. Okay then, so you're looking now at, um, let me just get access to my menu, the introduction to evidence, life and essence that is uh, accessible through the My Account section of our private uh, educational trust, our foundational trust, which is educational. Um, what is evidence of life, essence, incarnation? Let's get um, right to it. Let me go to the database, which I'm currently well behind adding. I'm working through them. You'll see yesterday I've added, granted, when I say added, it's actually been granted one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to show governors. All right. And uh, I'll give you, before we start, let's know what we're talking about and have a look at the layout. And, uh, you know, uh, when you, when, if the uh, QR code on the uh, instrument, it is not a certificate, it is uh, comparable to a birth certificate, a certificate, uh, you know, that you get from the General Registry Office, Golf Romeo Oscar, the bondsman of the Crown State there. But it is a it is a um, lawful alternative to legal identity. Number one, most importantly, we do not require registration of said birth certificate. I, David, the trust, the dot com. Uh, nobody wants to see or hear about your legal crown copyright instrumentation, your person, the birth certificate, the persona, the equitable instrument that accompanies the equitable asset, the signature. All right, so that's number one. You are not signing over power of attorney or giving power of attorney to anybody when you proclaim and uh, consider going down um, this road and walking a new road, a new path, you know, you know a journey of discovery um, without a destination. There can be no discovery, you know, uh, there can be no journey. So your destination would be to the private, um, the private side out of, um, the public and you would go on a journey to you know you, you welcome hello thank you much love congratulations so there's nothing happening like you have previously known you'll keep everything private and all your sensitive data for your person in your estate and everything like that you keep that side i don't want to hear from it i don't want to see it i don't want to accept any liabilities what i am doing is offering you an exclusive chance to go from when we talk about the key competence and the sovereign masters guild and going from um, public to private, you would look at the administrative processes there to give you remedy. You are currently public status, standing and capacity in the sovereign masters guild, a key competence uh, bronze level, um, which is your foundation um, entry level paperwork we've given away for free that uh, you will be familiar with and you can get for free on our Facebook trust and um, from here and the resource library and the literature vault or the literature library and the resource vault. It doesn't matter which way you say it, but we have some documents and uh, we're very proud of them. They are housed here, the private ones, and then some we let go into the public. These ones that have gone into the public that we've uh, given for free as part of our sacred contract are called the foundation documents, bronze level, key competence, um, the area of the Sovereign Masters Guild. And in that, I mention you need to look at your status, your standing and your capacity. At present, by default, your status is the general public. All right. So it's public. 
your standing is legal. You are legally um, defaulted, recognized. You are not a slave. You are not a sheep. You are not a person, but you are considered that. So all those channels out there that saying, hello, slaves, you're not slaves. You're not sheep. You're not dead. All right. And it's prima facie evidence of that by, uh, by the fact that, you know, read my documents and the documents we've given um, a proclamation of sovereignty explained version 4 2021 heavyweight edition would help you with that. So moving on um, and thank you to them channels that clearly don't know how to speak, that can't cognize um, how to speak correctly and go around scaring folk. Um, I'll not mention the names. So We'll start again, status, standing and capacity, legal or public, should I say, then legal, yes, and then person, public, legal, person, status is public, standing is legal, capacity is person, and we're going to move you into the private, you're going to move yourself, I'm not doing anything, this instrumentation, this proclamation will help us uh, um, do that with you, if you so desire, all right, with no liabilities no power of attorneys, no registration and no certificates, no recording, no nothing. All right. So just hear that from the beginning before we look at this fine instrument we're about to show you. We're going to move you from public to private. So your status will go from public to private. Your standing will go from legal to lawful law at law, law, not the rule of law, not the process, due process, either um, judicial, uh, uh, due your oh dear and then your capacity will go from person to man okay so how's that grab you private lawful womb man not public legal person as you are considered you are not but you are considered that and here on the uh, section for the evidence of life life database it's uh, showing the evidence of life uh, created on Wednesday, the 28th of October last year for the private SPLSPro.com supporter. Um, the screen name I've made up there is Governor. Um, I am actually House G, DVD, Jarson, Sage of Essence. Um, you will see me tagged and uh, available notice to calling private, you know, uh, equivalent of identity on the SPLSPro.com. But for this, um scenario we're calling i governor and uh, the, this is a partial record that is shown with a unique identifier that's your qr code that you see there further information can be obtained by emailing echo lima echo indigo at splspro.com there is a referencing fingerprint uh, given which is there that's um we'll talk about later detention under duress for civil issues is subject to our schedule of fees notice again um, you'll see this somewhere else but this is uh, the first time um, anybody scanning this code from the certificate will see it we have now a database record we have the date that it was proclaimed or created and we have the name the screen name only governor and we have the QR code here um, applicable to that now only admin can do this, not anybody else. So I'm going to generate a PDF of this, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to look at my uh, downloads. Oh wow, that's going to be interesting. Where are they in this uh, fine browser? And I'm going to show you um, the PDF, and you're going to have a look at it. So. Um, Library, logons, bear with me. It's a different layout to uh, downloads. Show downloads folder. Do, 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 do. There we go. It's loading now. Don't worry, I do know what I'm doing sometimes when I, uh, when I think about it. Here you see it's a PDF exclusive to I, man, David using this for uh, for this presentation in the public arena for YouTube and Facebook. Some of you will have seen this already, uh, me promoting this, evidence of life, essence, and incarnate, incarnation, not a person. 
All right, it says here, do not detain for civil issues. Charges shall apply via private unilateral non-disclosure agreement served to officers and agents. You have the correct syntax grammar. This is English syntax grammar. I have explained why I will not put colon, that's your dot above the dot, and hyphens or dashes, hyphen, the same thing. Um, that's there denoted in the middle, linking David and Jason or Jason. You see the hyphen in the middle there. There is a full colon, David, hyphen, Jason, colon, space, Jeremita, clan name, all lowercase. There is no name there at all, okay, because a name is denoted in the English grammatical linguistic styles, starting with a capital letter, all right? So this is all lowercase on purpose. And as it's lowercase, it doesn't really need protecting with syntax at all. But I've done it, I've double bubbled it, all right? So... Um, when you're little and you're at school and they say write your name and you write it lowercase, the teacher will correct you and say that's not your name. That's not my name. That's not my name. They call me sovereign. They call me governor. They call me crazy horse. But that's not my name. They're callings. All right. Your name needs to be correct. Styles, as we uh, found out here, and we're all about uh, sources, would be with a capital letter. There's no capital there, so it's not a name. It is, in fact, a calling, and I've just protected it with the correct, uh, and I can source the reasons why um, I wouldn't use, as uh, proclaimed by DWM and RJG, or, yeah, Russell Gould and uh, David Wynn Miller, and Gould has now taken over the Wynn Miller, and uh, others, Mark Christopher Kishon, these postmaster, etc., that are claiming to have flags and be um, postmaster generals and etc. Then uh, I treat these men with a little bit of a pinch of salt and uh, ask them to justify and source and reference and cite a, everything they claim. So that is what that is there. Okay, and then you've got underneath the uh, the name you've got, uh, which is now a calling, but you would know it as a name. Okay, on this instrument that is not a certificate and there is no name, so it's a calling. And the private given calling, Christian forename, if um, you look at the political covenants and uh, social agreements there and uh, ways that you are lawfully active, law, Abrahamic law, rather than um, secular Roman legal London Sun Temple BAR in a court system. So the private calling, Christian forename, David, hyphen, Jason, house of Jeremita, born of mothers, given Christian calling forename Julia, Julietta. The proclamation date, the year of our Lord, was Wednesday, the 28th of October 2020, some time ago now. May I just draw your attention to this section here, is where a thumbprint will go um, to, the, to the right of the calling, all in lowercase, with the full stop and period at the end. Now, why is the thumb mark? It's not a print. It's a seal or a mark You're going there at where my mouse is hovering to the right. If you have a long calling and family name, then it will take up a lot of this line. So there's no room for that mark, you know, so we're putting it there. So then anybody with several names, double barrel names will be able to fit in their lowercase calling. And you're going to go from names, public, legal person to private law and womb man. So you take your name and you'll do this. I will grant this after you've done it and double check it and issue it and send it. As, so it's all going to be doubly checked. Don't worry. We will help you and we will guide you with no liability, um, you know, just um, as a family, as a private uh, trust. And um, you will consent with, you know, full knowledge and full disclosure. And um, I speak to everybody. It may take a while, but... Um, you keep your person and there is no registration. All right. So it's win, win, win so far, as far as we can see. Ah, and uh, that's how long it's taken from Wednesday, the 28th of October, 2020. And down the left hand side, there are some boxes and some lines. Well, some areas, fields formerly known as. And on the right, there's a circle or an ellipse, an ellipse, an ellipse. It says witness. You can autograph there. You can put thumb mark there, witness, autograph, thumb mark, witness, autograph, thumb mark. That can be used 
um, by various witnesses. You may want to go to your church. You may want to go and see um, somebody who's uh, in the uh, a pillar of the community. Are the witnesses credible? Okay, uh, witnesses. Um, uh, there are certain prerequisites for this, which I'll give you later. But um, anybody that's a pillar of the community, somebody that is hopefully non-legal, um, you know, um, commissioner of oath. We've looked at public notaries and notary publics. All right. I wouldn't use either of them. A commissioner of oaths could be somebody such as a police constable, you know, in a private capacity. You could use somebody who's off the clock, who's respectable. Um, somebody who like maybe a pilot and um, a doctor off the clock, someone with competence that's considered by the legal realm competent. This instrument is, is going to be recognized legally, lawfully and ecclesiastically. OK, once um, the uh, ecclesiastical deed poll um, it matches this calling and changing. What is a deed poll? It's a change of name simply. It's not a compl complicated document. And uh, it doesn't need to be to so a deed poll changing of name, but you're not changing your name. You are going from a name to a calling and you are going to manage your name, your person, your persona, um, you know, military ranking personnel, person L, person A, um, personality, person if I'd, you know, so look at these words carefully you're not changing a name that's what a deed poll is you're changing from your status standing and capacity as public legal and person to private law and womb man man of the womb authentic ble being breathing flesh blood authentic i like to say souverain sovereign um child of the creator man womb man of the realm well, you may want to get one of these for somebody yourself, family, who's about to plan for a baby, a young blood, siring some uh, offspring, some new blood, um, an asset, a blood asset, um, a little one. And um, you could take this to the hospital, you know, blank. Um, we could look at formulating this afterwards, um, but it would be better if you had a calling ready, you know, the clan name, which would be the family name there. You need to get the given calling. It doesn't have to be Christian. It can be um, from Christianity. It can be from um, Islam, Judaism, and it can be from um, Abrahamic faiths, all three Abrahamic faiths. I'm going to get into that later. So it can be from Islamic areas. It can be from Christian, Catholic, and it can be from Judaism, all three Abrahamic major faiths there, and those that are considered Islamists, um, you know, and uh, non-Christian white denominations, you too can also worldwide join in with this proclamation and incarnation exclusive grassroots homegrown process that I have made myself and not taken, not copied. We originate, we do not imitate. I need an intermission and our brothers and sisters of the family need an intervention and we need um, remedy, maintenance and cure, like medicine, and this is a little bit of medicine, it would be remedy, cure and maintenance usually, but I'm saying it that way, so I get the cure and medicine together. You've all seen by now, or should have seen, the uh, original lady of justice that the SPLs Pro um, have. As It's not a trademark, because we're not in trade, we're private, and we're not in commerce, but it is a mark of our authority. All right, and we'll get into that later. Um, we're changing from the paralegals to paralawfuls. Greg's underway with that process and changing as we speak. You will see paralegals going to paralawfuls. This QR code, as many of you may or may not be doing now, can be scanned. When you scan that, it will take you to the previous page that I've just shown you, um, which is the, uh, the database page. So um, let me get, uh, when you scan that code, it will take you to this page here, evidence of life record. I don't know which screen's being shared at the minute. I've got three up, so uh, bear with me. I'd like them all, all on one page. Let me just make sure I've got these on one page and I'm sharing the correct page because it might not be recording it. All right, okay. Hello, go back to screen share. Oh my goodness, one thing at a time. Tea. Cut down on me coffee. 
All right, that's good. It will take you to this page. Let me tell it to screen share. And keep only one tab open. When you scan that certificate uh, equivalent, which is what? It is an instrument, all right? A certificate equivalent. It's lawful, not legal. I'll just explain that. So then it will take you to this page here and there's hardly any data shown of any private. You see the other one I've just shown you had um, name equivalent calling now okay you can equivalence this is why i need to get this repeated in so you understand at the calling and it um it was uh exclusive to i and it will be kept private at all times yours anybody that is on our database list will never have the uh, data shown we are data compliant at all times so i would like to uh, take the time to show you again um the database it will show this when it's scanned and you can try it and see it now and you will be able to take a photo of the uh, instrument that i've just shown you for myself and it will take you to this list here all right and that's all that you see um no it won't i tell a i tell a fib it takes you to this page what That's what they, when you scan that, you should see this. <sighs> I'm tired. There's a lot going on. It's a brand new, exclusive, homegrown, grassroots process. Ex you know, and uh, <laughs> excuse me while I uh, get it right. That's what you'll see. And there is no family, clan, calling, anything, nothing, uh, mum or anything. It just says what it says there, what I read you previously. Then I showed you the uh, proclamation instrumentation. All right, so you won't get to see that. That's just for us. You get to see that as well. And, and an officer, anybody, uh, someone at a academy, trust, anywhere that uh, you present this to, because you will be keeping it private when you've done this, uh, proclaimed um, evidence of life, essence, incarnation, and you have an instrument granted by our trust and I, man David, then you will get the PDF, you will print it, you will see that proclamation instrument certificate equivalent and you will be able to present that with the qr code exclusive and unique to your own proclamation instruments and then that will be scanned physically when they get some kind of media handset and take it across to the uh, instrument it will then bring them to this page all right aha there is a resource bundle that's part of um the extra supplementary material that we're giving away um with this to everybody that uh, agrees to the private spls pro non-disclosure agreement we will uh, we will be um, happy to provide documents which you can then further look at such as a last will and testament information for powers of attorney the last will and testament only comes into effect when man um, exits the realm and uh, a power of attorney is something supplementary to a last will and testament that will happen if you become happen to come effective and live if you come into um, an area of life where you're still here beating incarnate but uh, you are non compass mentis and so the uh, estate normally is uh, salvaged by the state itself the public government state um, but if you have powers of attorney and you manage yourself um, effectively um, with the last will and testament the power of attorney will protect you um, and assign the management of your biological estate the blood and the flesh the heart the life the essence if you are to slip on the ice um, and be deemed um, non-compass mentis lose your memory or the state says you are incapable of managing yourself due to illness of some kind um, then they will take over but if you have assigned power of attorney that will um, take over you would need to let Everybody know in the government, the uh, offices, secretaries, home secretary, health secretary, hospitals, generals, militia of the UK, of GB, for that to happen. They don't magically know what you've done. You would have to let them know in advance. Um, we will walk you through that for level two of the Sovereign Masters Guild. Um, powers of attorney, last will and testament are two of the documents. Uh, let me get to the pages. Now I've shown you what it's all about. Let's get to the exciting areas. <sighs> Give it one page at a time to keep it simple. Well, there is an introduction that G Star is working on with I that will be made public, and this video will be posted on this page. An introduction to evidence of life, 
an incarnation, which is part of our Genesis Exodus Trust of Truth, uh, abbreviated. I don't want to say that mouthful at all times. So we have Eli, E L E I, Evidence Life Essence Incarnation. So you'll hear me say Eli for that, and you'll hear me say Get for Genesis Exodus Trust of Truth. Um, and this is the introduction page here um, initially that will be made public on our private site. We have all access locked off and private for our initiates of self and law, our private initiates of self and law. This page that Greg is working on with I will give you an introduction, you know, example in 1534 prior to the first set of KV Act of 1540, um, Henry VIII declared the first set of KV type estate with the act of supremacy, which created the crown estate. In 1604, 70 years later, James I of England modified the estate as the crown union, union of crowns. You would need to stop and reference our sovereign master's guild for the 1302 Unam Sanctum and um, Eterni Regis convocation and things like that. This isn't uh, strictly... Um, exact this is to do with the monarchy and England side for the papacy the Romanus Pontifex uh, the, the then vicar of Christ um, the Bulla Papilla um, and um, the uh, the uh, the involvement of the proclamations made by the house of God there is uh, obviously others that go on to what I've just read there this is particular for the state so we have that those of you that are familiar and au fait with our proclamations and uh, my authorship um, and writings, uh, you will know all right, about that. By the 18th century, the crown was viewed as a company. What? Hmm. Names, companies, capital letters, identities, idums, Latin. Each set of KV trust created since 1933. An interesting year, the 1930s. 1914, um, have a look at bankruptcy there. We often mention chapter 11, bankruptcy, uh, applicable to over the pond. You will find chapters and 11s of what? Chapter 11 of what document, um, instrument are we talking there? What is 1914 relevant to? Um, the removal of gold, gold insolvency, bankruptcy, and then um, technocratic, technocracy starting, technocratic in, in my mind, in reality, in history from the 1930s. So each set of KV trusts created since 1933, um, with what I've just said there in the year itself, it's very interesting what was happening. The 1882, prior to that, bills of exchange, the uh, architecture that governs, you know, uh, transfer, endorsement and uh, offsetting, uh, you know, true bills, not statements and so forth. So since 1933, um, these uh, set of KB trust created represents one of the three crowns. It represents the three claims of property of the Roman cult being real property, personal property and ecclesiastical property and the denial of any rights to men and women other than those chosen as loyal members of the society and executors and administrators. Corpses, corporations cannot commit treason nor be outlawed nor excommunicated for they have no souls. We got a lot to bring you, and I'm not bringing it you now. But those of you that have read the um, the uh, if you've been to our library, let me just get a new tab open, and uh, we'll show you some of the recent documents. I've given this away for free. I believe it's just gone on through academia.edu. Um, let's see. Very happy to see 33 documents by Sovereign Jeremita, or uh, 33 documents mentioning Sovereign Jeremita. Um, being mentioned on academia.edu and one of those here we go master guild key competence documents they are from 2019 and they will be subject to further revisions and versions and so forth a civil judicial template for justice a cqv quasi trust and we got the principles of trust law they have got subtitles beneath them, but I'm conscious of time and I don't want to waffle, so we'll move on. UK officer interaction and identification, and then a shadow contracts, fear and misery type publication that we've got via our social, you know, um, positioning, default assumption and presumption. You do need to be a member to download the master documents bundle pack, and it tells you there the membership, that's spelt wrong. We got an O in the membership. 
um, supporters, we call you, but sometimes we use words that are, you know, with the, the boat people, the romans on there. We are slowly reforming that. It's 12 credits, promises, you know, a year, which works out at 25 pence a week because we are a non-profit, charitable, private, lawful trust and not a business, as I've said, and non-commercial. We have over 200 documents in the social network forums, library, and courses. We have a literature library and a resource vault of which is down this page that I'm very excited to show you in one moment. What's included in the bundle pack you can download as a private supporter, aka member. A judicial template for justice, the Setter KV, um, quasi trust. Principles of trust law, governance, master, servant, slavery, shadow contracts, fear and misery, UK corporate, rank and file officers, police constables, power to stop and search and the interaction associated there, how we would try to guide you through that. And UK officer, agent, trustee, interaction, scenario, one PowerPoint. We need to finish that off. There's no legal advice here at all on this video, on this dot com, in this trust. We are simply duly informing you in a private way. We do not represent, we do not claim liability, we do not act um, on behalf of, we simply share because sharing is caring, okay? Disclaimer again. And you press that to download all of those above files in one go. Here is the literature library and the resource vault of which we now have 336 documents. A proclamation of sovereignty explained version four heavyweight special edition 2021 as your password and your details there um, this has got everything in you need to know of which i've just mentioned previously and it's got the civil judicial template for justice the quasi trust and the principle of trust law governance master servant slavery um in 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 a bit more um, detail for you and as of 2021 as these were done in 2019 all right so uh, we don't roll down we've got a unilateral evidence of life essence incarnation non-disclosure agreement that's for those that want to proclaim an instrument and evidence of life etc you would think that it would be standard already to assume that man is blood beating authentic breathing flesh blood um, connected gracefully to the creator but you are not you are um, out of the age of innocence so to speak so uh, i move on covid19 or corona covid virus corona conditional acceptance uh, that we have there a proclamation of sovereignty explained version 3 2019 so that is this one but the previous document, document 33654, document 333, it was uh, interesting numbers that fell upon that. And then we have stuff for the tax office, HMRC, child maintenance, uh, Uncle Sam and the NKHB system, exemption from face covering card, conditional acceptance, vaccine safety clause, professional declaration. So, I don't know, again, in, in here, nothing in here is legal advice. Uh, it's just. Uh, information for your due diligence discovery and research okay so you get your information from there we've got a grid view that we can use all right as well so you'll see there um the principles of equity second edition uh, justice martin versus mahoney case law citations references to do with that's to do with banking and money i do believe We've got uh, biblical writings and publications, the ascension of Isaiah, revelation revealed. I've helped to uh, compile. Um, look at this. Lao Zhao Tao Te Ching. Um, you know, we've got uh, we've even got the art of war and things like that on here, co copied and put up. So um, the secret doctrine, the synthesis of science, religion and philosophy rules and law the rule of law lord tom bingham sir lord tom bingham and the rule of law international law ministerial code you uh, you need to know all of this alongside your journey when i say there has to be a destination that being a private and then you walk the road without no destination there can be no journey you're on the journey common law magna carta constitution and you're finding out now of your discovery what is working what isn't and some of you will reach the private and some of you won't and you'll be in the public lost like sheep one of the comments like sheep one of the comments on my youtube the other day was david you've come so far but now i am lost i am not responsible to shepherd anybody i try my best and i give an 
over three years, nearly 700 videos to help you. Not all are law based on IndieGlo. And some now are exclusively housed in the private on our private servers of sblspro.com. We have lots of documents and conditional acceptance and things to do for you and help you. But if you are lost, um, you've strayed from the path and the jungle is massive. You know, I'm not responsible nor am I liable for any of you, but I will try my best. And if you are lost, you need to help me to help you get into um, by clicking here, for instance, the public Facebook trust direct link. Again, we've made it so easy and simple for you. No money, no donations, all for free. We've got the clean hands doctor in. Okay, much like the uh, Romans there that couldn't find a fault with JC, Jesus Christ. Messiah, Lord and Saviour, who died for X, Y and Z, and they killed him anyway. Look, one click of the private domain, that you, you know, that get you straight into our public trust. You'll see there some announcements. We have a lot of announcements here. I'd like you to look at them. 52 before you even interact with the 652 watchers, watchmen. Um, I say that because only regularly 52 will speak and say hello and interact and help and the other 600 are sat back waiting for the administrative SETA KV remedy to fall upon their lap and to um, take work, um, publications, documents, ideas elsewhere, monetize, uh, merchandise, profit and steal while sat back watching. Uh, so look at those 52 um, announcements before going and interacting with us. Look at the about section. You can see the recent files um, that we've uh, had uploaded. If it's not uploaded by I or um, Kevin and it's uploaded by other members, David DeSurry, David, um, he's got a few names there, Bob and um, David uh, Russell, David Bob, David DeSurry, um, uh, and others that, that aren't David of the Jeremita fam clan. I'd be careful with what you're reading, and I'd, uh, I'd double check them, as you found out and saw with us, bringing you the Clearfield Doctrine, and the fact that it's nothing to do with all UK courts being dissolved, um, and the, uh, the screenshot that had that on with the number was by Radcon2, um, Danny Knightley, and uh, a man there, possibly by the name, commonly known as Conrad. So we corrected and straightened out the Clearfield Doctrine being nothing to do with UK courts being dissolved and to be doing with instruments being controlled by governments and it being case law cited from America in the mid early 1900s. So uh, much like David Wynne Miller, Russell J Gould with the syntax grammar, I have corrected and put posts out and David, the Jeremita estate and family as confidently, articulately, concisely, lovingly and honourably corrected why we wouldn't use such syntax grammar. Um, I'm not saying everything Windmill has done and professed is wrong, but what I'm saying is we have found errors all over left, right and centre. Um, Mark Salon and um, John Witterick, get out of debt free .org. Brilliant idea. Um, I went to them with love, open harms, peace and, uh, you know, uh, high hopes to get um, negative feedback um, cast out, ignored and um, attacked, um, partially because we pointed out that on the CA3 conditional acceptance, conditional acceptance three letter process CA3, um, conditional acceptance three, it had notice agent, notice principal at the top, but then it had um, contract statutory type uh, public law in the middle, which is mixed jurisdictions when you've got trust, equity, private um, law, uh, management and then you have uh, mixed jurisdictions on a page it nullifies one another it cancels much like the glosser underline italic etc so you will find in here all of uh, the the posts and what we do and how we work and you can come on and uh, have a look uh, come in and have a look and uh, chat with us on um on our you know, public domain there of Facebook. So there's always a place for you to go. Nobody gets left out in the cold. You don't have to come and um, give promises and credits to um, our private trust and uh, us where we are um, here at splspro.com on the, on the internet uh, domain, uh, you know, as, we, uh, as we're presenting now. So let me get rid of the library. That explains a bit of that and uh, what and how and where so you can navigate and find. We're going to go back to the evidence of life essence incarnate um, proclamation instrument. So we go to create my evidence of life essence incarnation from my account. You need to be a member, a supporter, which is what members are now called initiates of self and law. 
to do so. Let me wet my whistle. Um, welcome, Evidence of Life, Essence, Incarnation, Proclamation, page one of two. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this out, but to give you an idea, you would need to read all of this. Okay. I'll go slowly so you can read it and pause the screen. And I don't have to read it. Okay, let's do it this way. Let me highlight it all first. This is page one, remember. Gosh. Let me go up again. One. Two. That's three. Four pages. Five pages. Six pages. Seven pages. Eight pages. Right there. Nine pages. Ten pages. Eleven pages. Twelve. Thirteen. Wow. All right. There's about 4,000 words there. And here in the middle, I've got um, a nice bit about what I've mentioned about how we can all um, be um, included, all faiths, you know. Um, Christianity, Islam and Judaism, as I've said previously, it should include those not um, white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestants, a whole fam, as you've said, David, I'm not a white a Christian, white Catholic. Can I also get my soul, um, you know, uh, back from the protection of the Catholic House of God and the uh, Romanus Pontifex, uh, the Papacy, etc.? Um, and I've explained here um, are the three Abrahamic faiths because all three faiths honor Abraham, um, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, and see uh, them him. Um, as a being belonging to their faith, Abraham, um, Ibrahim, all right, that's your Ibrahim, your Abraham, and um, as starting, as the starting of their religious lineage of which their faith is part. So there's a lot in here on page one explaining why and getting all the family all across the realms, across all continents, as I promised, as I said, we would do in, again, not copied, not stolen, not taken. When I say a homegrown grassroots process, that's exactly what I mean there. And you go to page two. All right. I want to read you something that I posted um, somewhere else before I get onto page two. I'll let you start having a look at this one um, and then we are getting towards the end of this video. There will be more and I'm going to do videos on uh, how to and why um, you may want to later when I get some time. But for today, I have a lot on. I'm doing a video, a hangout, a podcast with uh, Sister Karen from Sun and Moon very shortly. I have the princess at, at home and um, I've got lots to, to do myself administration wise but I'm going to Indiglo on YouTube and I'm going to read you um, something that's just popped in my head inner Dave has just said you need to read I'm going to um, shout going out to academia yeah the ones that are uploading uh, Mojan Davahari Megany I think that might be a Hungarian name to be fair but uh, find a post that I want to have a look at where you can read that. I have some legal stuff to read you as well. Um, why we would be able to stand at law and legally protected. did post some music for you as well. 
Mm-hmm. SPLS Pro as a universal, non-violent, um, non-sectarian remedy and cure at law, whereby we and thee shall proclaim the realm's resources as man's common heritage again. That is to my conscious, loving, intelligent and peaceful, authentic sovereigns of sovereignty. That was to do with uh, Matthew and Sheffield. Initially, these words were first uttered. Jack Fresco, the Venus Project. And, um, you know, this is to do with the quantum oceans of the thought potential, potentiality consciousness ocean, the best sea of them all. We are nonviolent. That is a number one. We don't um, promote and want any kind of violence, as you've seen over in America and with, um, you know, the, the, the houses and the, the oof, madness that's going off. Um, what can I say? It's disgusting. So um, I'm going to get to that page in a minute. What I want to read to you now um, is is something that's very important, like um, this walkthrough guide that I'm giving to you. Um, you need to read those two pages. You need to look at the document that I've said and the free ones that I've given out through the Facebook Trust and through Indiglo and the links given to you there. So we have clean hands much like Pontius Pilate, um, not comparing myself to him, but the clean hands doctrine that lies at the heart of equity, like um, the doctrine of notice is. At law, public statutory Roman London Law Society in the London courts, two witnesses will make a fact, two testifications or testimonies will make fact, okay? So that's why we have three witnesses, autograph, and um, thumb mark seal equivalent to print on that um, referencing uh, on your proclamation instrument so three witnesses better than two and three good men as i've said credible and the ideas there that i've given you doctors midwives something uh, not uh, you know so uh, as john from next door or john smith's um you can use whomever you want but i've given you a good idea if you had that instrument and you was at a hospital and you was looking at the registrar the surgeon the midwife things like that as well um mum dad etc are there to choose um and uh, at law you know two sworn affidavits two witnesses in front of a judge a court um your court process due process yeah you don't have rules of law you have rules and then you have law you don't have the rule of law due process is business process judicial your process is um, different to due process so when you're all shouting uh, constitution magna carta free men we want due process well you want business then we sovereigns don't want due process. We want um, um, your and uh, juridical um, processes that are different uh, with uh, with um, juries and um, supreme law, um, which is the Abrahamic, which is the trust and equity. How old is trust and equity? New trust technology, um, um, Christian Walters, Winston Shroud, and others that are out there promoting it. I'm going back to the Old Testament to uh, the uh, the story of Genesis. And one of the first books of Moses, um, Abrahamic, um, Old Testament, written in um, Phoenician, Hebraic, um, Aramaic text, Dead Sea Scrolls. We've done our research, OK? I have nothing to reference except, uh, you know, my uh, little bit of scribble here. And um, we've looked and we found lost books. We found the trust, Genesis, tree, Adam, Eve. Were they in the Garden of Eden or were they in paradise? Where were they at that moment? What was going off? The father, the creator, leaves them, comes back. They've had a chat with the snake, bit a bite from the apple, the tree of um, good and evil, of knowledge, of uh, life, of, uh, you know, etc. Apple technologies having an apple with a bite out of it, knowledge, you know, taking you back to all these things make me, and uh, figurative speaking, figuratively speaking, it's a figment of your imagination that you need need to um, perform some mental alchemy on um, with us and we will help you with the publications videos guides walkthroughs uh, private updates that we do weekly through our educational foundation trust of splspro.com you need to go through all of this and re remove that fig leaf and get back to the naked trust bare trust bare naked is where we're going so there's a lot I've got and a lot I can stand upon and a lot I can articulate and I wouldn't put it out there if I wasn't confident and we didn't know. All right. 
too sworn. Uh, if I, if anyone was in court and was charged, you would ask them for, um, you know, the common law breaches of some kind where there's a victim. You can just conditionally accept, and then you look for the evidences. If it's administrative, then it's due process. Then you need to handle it a different way. You know. Um, It's come to something where we've worked out if we have a document that isn't from the Crown, it isn't legal, but it conforms to international legal standards. So we have the international supreme law there, the supreme courts of um, justice, which are the uh, not the royal courts, not the in London courts, but you have um, international law. You've heard of uh, the government breaking international law, international codes. We've had Priti Patel branded as a bully and um, Boris Johnson protecting that. We've had uh, people on Facebook trying to say that Matt Hancock and others will be arrested for etc. But the Crown agents, their Privy Council members protected. You can't use Crown public statutory common law to bring down Crown type agents doing their job. Sir Ian Duncan Smith um, taking money off less abled, uh, personal independent payments, uh, and then putting in claims for his undercrackers. And then people trying to say, oh yes, uh, you know, we want, we don't agree. He got a knighthood for doing that, you know, off the monarchy for doing his job well. Matt Hancock, um, you know, there's something fishy about Nicola Sturgeon up there in Scotland, if you ask me, who also is the first minister of Scotland. First, let's look at Boris, prime minister, prime, first, uno, number one, or number one minister, Nicola, number one minister, not connected to Scotland, but Westminster. Westminster and the rule of law is governed by the force of law, which is governed by the ministerial code, which is governed by international rule of law. So why would you go anywhere else? We found an international Magna Carta, Claudio, Bosch, he's come out and helped me reiterate that under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 6 is the one that you would quote. Ah, but human means monster. Yes, it does in legalese. For the purposes of clarity and the avoidances of doubt, I am commanding a language which is um, English. It is not legalese. It looks like legalese. It sounds like legalese. It writes like legalese, but it is not legalese. You are not to convert my words into legalese. I am an idiot in front of the law. Black's law definition, uh, le idiot, one that cannot speak, understand, command legalese, paraphrased. I am not licensed. I'm not a boat person. I'm not a row man. OK, and I'm not licensed to use legalese. I will not use legalese and do not take my instruments and securitize them. Do not monetize them. And uh, if you uh, want me to speak legalese and understand somebody that speaks legalese like a judge or an attorney at law, I will need a translator. Neither do I have an international treaty to be dealing with you right at this moment. We've come a long way since the bribe uh, demand to see your oath. I am not the surety and etc. the vexatious re remedial way that the Constitution, Magna Carta, Constitution, British Constitution Group, Magna Carta, free man's on the land. And in the Bible, it says free born, not free man, you know, and uh, etc. You are free born and while you are a baby until the point of registration. That's your age of innocence being born waters of your mum. Then you go to be registered general registry office and then the second coming of Christ, the citizenship, etc. The second coming of man, not Christ. Scratch that. Sorry, so I'm alive and direct. The second coming of Christ is when you go from citizen, um, your public legal <laughs> and person to private law and man this is the rebirth you have to die to be reborn so um you know there's many many things i could uh, splinter off with on that uh, little bit there that i've just gone through um but i will stick to the facts all right so you need to know that uh, you know we've worked out lots and lots of things and we can stand there internationally um you know a human is not a monster if you're speaking legalese it is if you're speaking english it is not we look at the implied meanings and definitions of said words and then we would reference that to our dictionary of the republic of new britain or oxford concise uh, English, Anglo, um, implied meanings and definitions. You see, legalese is a language that looks like English, it sounds like English, it writes like English, but it isn't English. And English is a language that looks like legalese and writes like legalese. Where are we here? Who? You know, again, another video, another time in the publication. So, Hugh Man, Hugh is colour and man is man. For the purposes, you know, and the clarity I've explained there, what? Boom. 
Thank you. So if you are speaking legalese, human means monster. If you're not speaking legalese, you know, we can even put the definitions and the meanings of that in the header of the document before the reader starts reading. And if they are of the legal realm and they can't understand English, then we have a massive problem. Therefore, we fall down straight away. Yeah. <laughs> so Abrahamic and international political, social, religious covenants will be how you do that with trust and equity, not legal trust and equity, uh, some element of ecclesiastical trust and equity. And then we have Abrahamic trust and equity. There's three there that you didn't know about me, myself and I, the father, the son, the Holy Spirit, I've taken the father's name by accident in vain. And I give it back the biggest tax return man could ever do. All right. So uh, it's just a point of note for those that say oh but human david well think about it all right i'm giving you a lot in this video you will need to rewind it and you will need to come and see us on one of these domains and um i am very very happy and i'm just doing my duty and job as uh, as as brother david as the governor and only as i and our trust and our uh, fam can do all right so that explains that definition meaning and what is good and what isn't and you know you must put for the purposes of clarity and the avoidances of doubt we are not speaking legalese we're speaking anglo-saxon old english if you'd like just old english uh, link oxford linguistics uh, remember that all right and remember ask if they are speaking legalese don't uh, let anything be considered or converted or translated into legalese we are not of the law society the crown copyright language of the law london society and inner courts there okay so you've got that and um if anyone's planning to have a baby like i say it is important there that your young blood and offspring are protected in advance and while you have the certificate of live birth issued by the general um, registrar of the hospital the sister of the ward the midwife and the doctors that are present then why not consider taking a private instrument issued and granted by us managed by us and uh, having that um, done at the same time that would be great don't use blood prints on this evidence of life essence and incarnation i know the biometrics might be beneficial there while they're doing the guthrie card heel prick test weights and etc it might make sense um, to have one maybe um just with red well i've done one today i've got a little bit of a red remnants on my print i've done my own today and finished it just today from october to january i've actually marked and sealed my own evidence life essence incarnation november december january it's taken about 15 weeks to sort out this to be fair we tried and that's rushing it by the way so mums and dads we'd look on uh, you to uh, not pair that rents uh, that happens after registration but we'd have to ask you to think about that seriously and come to have a chat with us i've just done a video about um, woman's hour bbc radio 4 and i've got the um, on Indiglo video references of um, health ministers and so forth talking about um, COVID, pregnancy, uh, fertility, um, Africa, Red Cross, um, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, infertility after inoculations and there's lots of concerns there. Government misinformation has led to that, not me, not speculation, previous um, works of uh, institutions, loosely put, and then um, lack of information from our president, uh, presidents, uh, prem present UK um, government ministers, secretaries, generals, U-turns, and lack of information. Bill Gates coming out saying there may be some side effects of these inoculations and vaccines that we haven't seen yet. What? I know. Next time, I'll get a straw with me tea. What else would I like to bring to you and tell you? And uh, whilst we're going through the pioneering cutting edge of uh, private law and defence and why we would do this in a non-violent, universal, non-sectarian remedy for all families. Is there room for being not legal and arguing we don't speak legalese? You know, yes, there is. There's a lot of room. You need to make that decision, all right? Look at the woo man in the mirror and make that change. Rothschild and Rockefeller. Who was it that said, give me the child and I will show you the man? When I talk about being at school, writing your name, 
indoctrination. We are here to educate, not indoctrinate. We are here to originate, not imitate. I do need an intermission and you will get an intervention. Um, this evidence of life, essence, incarnation is not a magical document. It's not going to perform tricks and wizardry at all. It's just, like I say, an equivalent to a legal identity. It's a lawful proclamation of, as is said, all right? It will prove in a court of law, once you've got some uh, witnesses, autograph and thumb marks on there and seals, that you have testimony and evidence to the fact you're not a person anybody claims that you are a person ask them for the evidence that they've got that you are a person i am sometimes known to go by a name but only when it's a benefit to me somebody tries to entitle me by mr david um like you know uh, anywhere i would consider whether or not i should be taking that entitlement um, of mr all right entitlement benefits entitled is that entitlement a benefit to you but you can get um you can be entitled to claim benefits such as personal independent payments Shh. such a play on words but mr mrs lord laird sir they're all titles all right author and title david and jarson are the uh, are the author the title would be jeremita now to commonly call me David is fine, disco, DJ, crazy horse, brother, D, Don G, whatever it is, <laughs> um, as Kelvin likes to put it sometimes. That is the public use, um, even though my name, which is, you know, all capitals, if I was to use a name or go by a name, the lowercase, as I showed you at the beginning, is a calling. That is kind of public, um, common law level, commonly known, okay? But the all capital company name, as uh, Lord Quote Coke quote, we've got, and others um, in our publications, proclamation of sovereignty explained, um, are private and they must be used in commerce by authority only. Who has authorised this name to be used in commerce here today? You know the all capital name. If you look at the certificate of birth issued by the General Registry Office, you will see David and Jason, John and Doe, little you know first and second name, lowercase. But the father's name is capitalised, so that's also the surname, the surname, the father's name, lower David, lower Jason, father's name, which is the surname, capitalised. So I don't have a surname; it's my father's name, which is why I am son of Julia. I've gone against the um, the lack the lack of recognition that the Catholicism and the legal Roman system, the secular system uses. I used to be David, son of John. Um, in olden days, a knight would introduce himself. Hello, I'm Galahad, son of, you know, John. Um, I am little John, son of Galahad, but I am David, son of Julia. We go to the woman, the Omega, rather than the Alpha. And, um, you know, uh, we need to look at these kind of uh, differences that we've got and that we recognize there. OK, so um, you need to know that the surname is the father's name and you've taken the father's name in vain. UK of GB, um, go get your certificates for your person from the state office, the general registry office and look at the top line where the calling is given name, forename. All right. Middle name, if any. And then father's name, a.k.a. surname, all capitals. It's not yours. It's not the baby's. They attach it to the cognomen, the agnomen. I've got publications and words there for you. So you need to be very clear on what you do and how you say that. When you are entitled, um, when they put lower um, David and uh, capital Jeremita, David Jeremita, they've attached the, so the name is all capitals, denotes a company, a business, a dead entity. The calling, little David, with capital Jeremita, it's got the annexed attached joinder. It's been joined on, okay? So then you've got um, all lowercase, which is a calling. And you can commonly call me David and, um, and, and Jason or DJ abbreviated DJG. Um, David, Jason, Jeremita. I used to DJ as DJG and that was all capitalized because it was commercial and it was for marketing uses only. But I was doing business as, OK, in Greece, Zante, Laganos, Zakynthos, at the Republic Beach Bar, may I add, boom, viva la Republica. <laughs> it was written many years ago, but I couldn't see it. 
swap the vinyl records for public records. Jeremita can only be used, your capitals, with authority in commerce. Okay, that's private. That can't be used by anybody um, uh, other than I as the uh, executive for the estate and the administrator and the attorney general, the principal, the data controller, principal, not principal. Pull and um, look at the way those two words uh, spell P A L ending principal and prince pill pull P L E. Look at those implied meanings definitions. So, public name David, private name Jeremita, capital. All right, can't be used without authority, consent, and knowledge. All uncontested claims on an estate are uh, settled within 90 days, by the way, as well. So those that say, oh, you can just ignore it. It doesn't go away. Controversies need to be dealt with. So public and private, again, um, deeper, level two, going on to all this will be explained. I speak fast. I'm passionate. I have the love. I have the, the skills to pay the bills. All right. I know difference between man and person. I know what human rights are. I know what articles to use and how to use them and how to enforce them and how to rise above common law, Magna Carta and the constitution, the constitution groups that are out there. Um, the constitution of my soul is very strong and honorable. There are lots of constitution. The banking industry has a constitution. Is the bills of exchange, the private remedies there, the public fiat debt system that we're in, um, uh, Bank of England being a private, uh, consortium there, um, Rothschild um, buying up and tricking the, uh, the the nation into. It's disgusting. Um, we are no longer uh, going to go through supposition or be subjugated or subrogated anymore. Those days are over. We didn't know and we put in an amount of supposition rather than fact and reality. We have all of the facts for you. You need to go and find and I would consider and urge you to go and get freely the um, Proclamation of Sovereignty Explained Version 4 Heavyweight Edition 2021 and then come back and have a chat with me. If you don't know what you're on about and you want to argue with I, then please don't waste my time. If you read the documents and you can give articulate, respectful praise and grumble and conjecture and intelligent argumentation, I'm all yours and we will go toe to toe, open on tube, on a video, on Zoom. Um, I'm going to try and link Robert from the ODEC up. He's offered to uh, to uh, have a chat with me. Um, he's given me one of his documents, 150 odd pages long for me to review privately in confidence. I'm going to do so. I'd like to get on his channel and meet his scribes and have a chat with them. In the meantime, um, after now I've finished uh, what has become the object of my life's work. Robert S has made inroads via Facebook. Um, I'd like to know what he wants and if we can go to Scotland and come up to the Bonnie uh, Major Scotia and go, bosh, okay, the new, and uh, sit down and have some uh, neeps and tatties, um, just joking, whatever, have a brew and a chat to be fair and talk out what's going on. Um, with regards to all of this, so if the United Nations have got five member nation states on there on their Security Council, and that includes, amongst others, Britain, you know, America, Germany, France, after the Second World War, and they've ratified treaties, then there is ways out there. You know, the United Declaration of Human Rights is one of them that we'd like to look at. All humans are afforded the right to be recognised as a person in front of the law. Well, you can respectfully and politely decline that right and be recognised as a human and not a person where does that leave you boom exactly what if that gets ignored boom it's international law that's been broken not common law not magna carta not constitution it's supreme laws next to i'd argue they say supreme the abrahamic as i've brought you there so when i say there is tierages and levels welcome to the, the let's get ready to rumble it's like don king back in the day with the two fighters there you've got david governor jeremita um sovereign rec representing the private abrahamic supreme laws and then you've got in the public corner common law magna carta constitution he's going to go up against the governor of uh, of uh, privacy and uh, trust private you know uh, supreme and we're going to public law and we're going to have it out this is what's happening in 2021 all right if you'd like to come and jab you know defend hook jabs the fighting talk all right for the chattel the chattel mortgages and etc then you come and uh, you come and let me know 
So, New Testament, the Old Testament, mm, yeah, Supreme Law, the Ministerial Code, the Force of Law, the Rule of Law. You have rules or you have law, okay? So we smash through the Magna Carta, the Constitution, Trust and Equity, Legal, Ecclesiastical, Maritime, Admiralty, UCC. It's all dropped into place and uh, we are coming to be untouchable. I can give you all a brief soupçon of where we are in this video and in this paradigm of uh, cutting edge, pioneering, exclusive. Um, and we're very happy and excited. I just wanted to, uh, to chat to you and say, you know, you will be hearing from us again. Uh, in emails, in updates, in further videos, and um, it is, uh, it's, it's not a massive importance for you to get Crown Copyright State Registered um, Certificates of Live Births, and it's not important for me. I'm not giving you advice here. We're saying from our discovery, what is important is that you read and digest such things as, um, let's do this again with this page now as we're back on, back on form, and uh, I'll stop babbling. And get to where I need to be. Okay, yeah, uh, bosh. This is your explanation about um, what we're doing and um, how we've done that and the reasons for that. I'll go slowly and uh, I'll try and let your screen shot, pause, capture certain, you know, bits of the information so we don't have to be here all day. I don't have to read it all out, all right? You can come here. We'll, we'll make a public page for you to read and see, all right? Um, some of the names and callings and businesses that I have been influenced by, offended by, entertained by, researched and enlightened by, I've been to meet most of them, chat with them, and perhaps on occasion studied from them. The list below is not exhausted, limited to, or exclusive, and it's no particular order. And we're going to go Frank O. Collins. Santos of the Bonacci fam, Jordan of the Maxwell tribe, Napoleon of the Hills, Alan of the Watts, Greg and Braden, Bruce and Lipton, Noam and Chomsky, David Wynn Miller, syntactic, uh, now time correct sentence, parse syntax, grammar and structures. Um, I realise I shuffled all that up. Noam Chomsky in syntactic structures. Have a look at that and get back to me. Bill Turner. NZ, New Zealand, Daniel, Christian Remedy, At Law, Max and Egan, Stephen or Steve, McRae or Bincham, John, Agent Smith, Common Law Court, Glosser Channel, Romley Stewart, Justinian Deception, Mark, Sail On, Sail On or Sri Lanka Sea, Justin, um, Skywalker, Tom of the Crawford Biscuits, British Constitution Group, Practical Lawful Descent, David Robinson, Michael O'Bernasia, TGBMS, um, John of the Harrises, UK Column, Brian Garish, and tens of others. Too many to list on that page there, all right? <sighs> lots and lots to bring you all right we don't want five thousand pound we don't want your birth certificate we don't want the uh, person we don't want any details from you all right we're keeping it minimal and we've got good reason and logic dr spock logic and articulation and formulation for this new quantum um indigo light worker crystal um, nuclear vision after the alignments of the planets there was no sonic boom this is your sonic boom norbs world i'm going to chat with norbs world he's seen my comments and the universal disclosure what is brought to us and um, the cosmic egg him and martin kenny and the ones that are familiar with that that's another name alongside robert from the odec and um, robert of the s or sproul clan i want to get in touch with and work with and promote and do things with so sonic boom is coming in the form of the sonic boom here the sonic boom here the quantum uh, you know uh, flux modality of non-locality uh, particle matrix sonic boom is on its way for 2021 it happened um, as uh, as was predicted the calendars all out of kilter aztecs mayans and incas um, gregorian calendars calendar of enoch who knows where we are norbs world universal disclosure i'm going to do a premiere of that video very soon all right watch out and we can all chat about that Whew, there's a lot going off i'm getting a spiky charge i really am in the game in it to win it all right welcome to the privates 
most of you know in the game have been in it for a long time and i'll just answer that with familiar familiarity breeds contempt i see indeed i do what documents are we giving you in a resource bundle if you come and donate 1999 promises credits and etc fiat currencies to our trust um, you will get in that bundle a proclamation of sovereignty explained version 4 an affidavit a notice in declaration of allodial ownership of property version 2 there is an SPLS Pro 2020 data protection GDPR request version 3 there is an ecclesiastical private and lawful deed poll version three influenced by franco collins edited by i um, executor appointment version three spls pro last will and testament two versions it's on version five and because it only comes into effect when you are no longer with us there is all the information regarding the powers of attorney and how to do that appoint them use them and why you may want to do that um who are my crown and private agent unilateral non-disclosure agreement and fee schedule 2021 version 4 that will go with your evidence of life when i say do not detain for civil issues and you will be subject to the non-disclosure agreement and fee schedule or schedule of fees that is what would go with your e eli Suella Braveman, Attorney General, QC, MP declaration and wanting to know uh, exactly what is going on with the uh, court presentation. If you go to court there and you're summoned, your person is summoned because man cannot be summoned as you're learning, then you will go in a uh, non-representative capacity in a special appearance and you would let her know and she would let all the courts know, as is the Attorney General, QC, MP's job. Um, sergeant majors all right and a disclosure upon the birth certificate by uh, attorney generals home office secretaries of state maybe something you may want to consider alongside alternative provisions for um, what is at hand at the minute good faith notice of render version five influenced by daniel christian remedy at law Deputy Registrar, General Trustee, Keeper of the Holy Seal and Faith, version 5, who is the Keeper of the Holy Seal and Faith, I employ thee, I ask thee. Um, SPLS Pro Home Secretary, Roy Honourable Pretty Patel, MP, Affidavit of Truth, version 5. All of the above are to be kept private and are not to be shared with others and are protected within our Genesis Trust as trust assets. Those that decide to... Um, proclaim an evidence of life essence incarnation proclamation and come through into our private trust will be given those documents alongside in addition to the uh, instrument after it's been proclaimed granted by i these are supplementary and are not included in the 1999 donation um, requirement these are free supplementary um, instruments and documents that i have either authored or been given or had consent to use or found in the public domain and then have utilized and put together in such a way they are um, not just to go exclusively to um, Suella and Pretty. There are other names in there that um, I will let you know of. Uh, generals, secretaries, militias, officers, uh, you know, international uh, church, papacy um, to be served to. So uh, there are other names. Um, you know, I've said Matt Hancock there. I've mentioned uh, Attorney General's uh, Home Office, First Lord of the Treasury, Boris Johnson, Mr. Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr. Rishi Sunak, the, uh, the Second Lord of the Treasury, so you see, um, we've got Dunn and Brad's numbers to attach to them as well. So uh, work in progress, all right? There's a lot going off. These are free and supplementary. They are not, again, included. The 1999 is simply for um, you to come and get the uh, ability to privately commission an evidence of Eli, and then that will be with us referenced in a private encrypted databases for as long as you become and are a supporter of our private domain once you leave or stop supporting then that data as per gdpr international regulatory and the rules there and the homeland rules as we are no longer um, in the eu um, will be uh, managed exclusively per those uh, even now you know, uh, we're not in the EU. Uh, there are rules and uh, certain things we need to look at, laws and paradigms. Even though we're not commercial, we have to abide by um, uh, honourably uh, is the word there. Uh, 
I've learned from the best, and then I've made my own style, much like brother Bruce of the Lee Can and his Jeet Kune Do, you know, be like water. You shall be enlightened, no longer frightened. That's all I can say. Many, many thousands of hours and years and years of, 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 of man's sweat, tears, blood have led to this point. All right, so you do need to agree and you are considered tacitly agreeing to the non-disclosure agreement from our resource library and literature vault. You will be given um, that opportunity as a private supporter, as I've shown you in the literature library and resource vault there. You would download that uh, agreement and look at that and uh, digest and accept the contents as required. Further documents and instruments shall be sent via email along with the proclamation, Eli proclamation, once it's granted. It is a private instrument and all in line with our agreement of our private unilateral non-disclosure agreement. You are, We are the disclosure, discloser, you are the recipient, as simple as that. And uh, there are unconscionable content creators and magpies of magic, thieves of tradition that haven't come to work with us, that uh, slag me off, that profess to have remedy, that haven't really, that take the stuff and then reciprocate it. As, uh, as you've come to learn from the trust, Kevin and I, our previous Hangouts podcasts on Indiglo and Facebook and around the realm. So you, you must be able and willing to make the one-off 1999 donation via PayPal when completing the form. It will then redirect you to uh, PayPal to make your donation. Non-PayPal donations to our trust bank account are also an option. After a successful transfer, I shall be in touch within 48 hours and then we shall require the necessary data in order to start and commission our proclamation as detailed above. We also will accept sterling silver instead of bank donations and instead of PayPal and that will be sent to a PO box address in the very near future. The evidence, uh, the Eli database, referencing and proclamation, it isn't instant. It can take up to 72 hours to become, you know, effectively live, realm-wide. It's open for our international supporters and initiates, as I've mentioned, and the reasons why. It is available and enforceable internationally, as I've mentioned, and, the, and I need to expand upon, but the pack and the further chats, the uh, dedicated Eli uh, forum that we have has got the information in there and will continue to be updated so um let's look at ticking this if you wanted to proceed evidence of life it is a form you're filling out i have read the above two pages of information and agree to the non-disclosure agreement to keep the files private so if you haven't read it and you haven't seen it and you tick this this is where you tacitly acquiesce you ignorantly agree all right and that's just paraphrasing but uh, you would write your full fictional name as it appears mr joe public in there okay everybody that's done this so far has done it correctly and if there's an error i can get in touch with you and i'll get in touch with you with the email that you provide um, when you um, become a supporter of our private domain a private christian forename we'll go for joe middle name We've got a middle name there we'll go for john and house of family name um, we'll go for doe all right we might go for mother's private christian forename and uh, we'll go for jane all right and then we'd put your supporter name in there that would be and for this instance and the name we've made up so we can use for this example would be governor then you'd come down here let's just go that i did that fast because i've done a lot now i need to slow down sorry everyone so Mr. Joe Public, your full fictional name as it appears. You can put it in capitals, you can do it as that, you can put it all lowercase, but the name that is on the certificate, not your calling, not anything else, your name that you've got for your person, not you, your person's name is what we're after, all of it, okay? Private Christian forename, so that's Joe, Joe's there, look. Middle name, we don't ask for the middle name there, we don't need it, we put it here, look, John, if you have a middle name, that's where it would be house of family name doe so john mr joe public ah so it would be public there sorry that's my bad good job we went back on that because looking back i'd have kicked myself for uh, making that error mr joe public all right private christian forename joe there is a middle john it's not asked for there 
and then the, the house of family name, public, public. Mother, instead of son of, you know, etc. Galahad, son of John, it is uh, Joe, son of Jane. Shout going out to the Omegas. We love you, mums, sisters, princesses, etc. Your time to shine. Your supporter name, you'll choose that when you uh, join and say hello and support us in the private. Then we have these options so far, subject to change. Digital, EOL, PDF, proclamation and database record. I would like to make, so that is with PayPal, standard PayPal. We need to put PayPal in there, G-Star. All right, we haven't got PayPal there and we've got um, non-PayPal option. All right, so if you go digital, um, this one first and you go apply and you select that one, PayPal. 1999 credits promises donation it should with a bit of luck do this what donate to sovereign power lawful express private trust blah 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 1999 options four we go back bear with and we select non paypal it says zero now you have chosen to donate the 1999 promises credits to us directly via non-PayPal method. Example, cash, bank, transfer. Please only continue if you have the donation ready. And then when you press apply, it sends us an email with your connected account email supporter name details. And it does this. Thank you. Thank you for creating your Eli. It will be live in our database within 72 hours. David will post a new video here shortly after it will be live within 72 hours after successful private transfer of your choosing, which is what we um, are working on now. So that is um, work in progress. All right. If you choose that, we need to chat via email and we need to confirm. And then I will com once confirmed, it will be live within 72 hours. OK. Thank you. All right. We will um, premiere this video and I will take questions and answers once um, once I'm live and direct with you on Tube and Facebook. So for now, I'm going to say peace and love. Thank you. Have a great um, 2021. I hope you're excited. I hope you're uh, willing, ready and able. And I'm looking forward to the praise and grumble and to all my trolls, agents, shills and the ones that I've really annoyed. Much love to you. I'm here to be crucified and shot down. I'm not comparing myself to, but I come with Jesus as a Christ-like consciousness. I come with Allah, peace be upon him, as um, the, the, uh, with the prophet Muhammad, Christ equivalent to Abraham, Abraham. We're all here. It's one family, all right? Mickey Finn, Chin Chin. God bless us all, okay? Thank you, and uh, ciao for now.